But first, it's probably going to be even more difficult than usual to find a seat at a good beer bar in Portland next Friday. That's because more than 450 people are expected to attend the New England Craft Brew Summit. These people work in the craft beer industry, and at this meeting, they'll be focusing on sustainable growth. That's a serious issue since in Maine alone, the number of breweries has nearly doubled from 82 to 153 in the last five years. We sat down with Sean Sullivan, the executive director of the Maine Brewers Guild, and Rob Todd, the founder of Allagash Brewing. Rob Todd is giving the keynote address at the conference, and he's a highly respected guy in the beer world, but he wasn't when he started out. And we asked him how many employees Allagash had in the beginning. Uh, one. Or sometimes I say three, me, myself, and I. How many, it was just me. How many craft breweries were there in Maine? Probably a dozen. And we're now up to? 160? Yeah, about a, a, over 150 anyway. All right, so to bring it full circle, did you ever, in your craziest, most beer-fueled dreams, think that we would be where we are now with the beer industry in Maine? No, I never did. I mean, I've, my original business plan had me retiring with maybe five or six employees. We now have 150 employees. I thought we'd be making five or 6,000 barrels a year, and this year we crossed the 100,000 barrel threshold just at Allagash alone. So never in my wildest dreams did I think the industry would unfold like it has. Sean, let's look at the bigger picture. You sent us some numbers. Five years ago, there were 65 breweries That's in right. Maine. Now there are more than 150. Yeah. What has happened in the last five years? You know, I think overall, um, the big market, the drinking culture has been focused around craft beer. I think people are looking for something that's made locally. And we now have breweries in every county in Maine. And so as it spread outward from the cities, people realized that these tasting rooms could be a great place to gather. So it's the beer and it's the culture around it. We have these big breweries like Allagash, but what happens to smaller breweries who maybe can't catch up as quickly? Are they closing? You know, we've, we have about a 95% success rate over the past five years, so a lot of our breweries are doing really well. The key is they have to stay on a, on a small scale, and luckily in Maine we have a low cost of living, so you can eke by and run a small brewery in a small town and do all right. We've got this beer gathering that's coming up, uh, Rob, in Portland. And I'm sure that you now, as sort of an elder statesman in the industry, get a lot of questions from people who, want to, who say, I want to do what Rob did. What's the question that you get asked maybe the most often from people who are interested in brewing beer commercially? Oof. You know, I don't get, I don't feel like I get uh, one, one uh, particular question. The questions are all over the map. Um, you know, maybe quality, human, uh, relate, uh, or human resources, safety questions. So we get questions all over the map. But I think one of the really cool things about this industry is how collegial it is. And I know when I was getting going the first 10 years, the bigger craft breweries were more than happy to help me on any front when we needed help. So now we extend that to any of the brewers that open up in this state. If anyone has a quality control question, we're happy to help. Even now with the competition being as widespread and fierce as it is? Absolutely. I mean, we feel like everyone's better off if someone's first experience with a craft beer is a positive experience. We have a very strong lab at Allagash, uh, seven full-time employees, lots of state-of-the-art equipment. And if a brewer has a problem that they can't solve, they'll very commonly bring it to Allagash. Someone actually just came in our door yesterday uh, with a question and we're more than happy to help him in our lab because uh, we feel like the whole industry is better off for it if, again, if customers experience or uh, if their first experience with a craft beer is positive. It's great that you guys play nice, but with more than 100 <laughs> breweries in Maine, there's only so much shelf space at Hannaford Shaw's. There's, there are only so many restaurants who can put you on their tap. How do you stay relevant? I, uh, you know, uh, there are a lot of ways we stay relevant. One of, the, one of the things that we've recently did that we're really excited about is we became B Corp certified. And what that basically is, is it's an independent certification. They come in and they say, not only are you considering your 
uh, shareholders and decisions you make, but you're considering the community, the environment, and your employees. And that's very in tune with our core values at the brewery. And so we stay relevant on a lot of fronts like uh, philanthropy with the community. Last year, uh, we gave about $375,000 back to the local community. Um, we were just awarded the, the pre-treatment award um, at the Portland Water District for uh, pre-treating our effluent. So just uh, by being a contributing positive member of the community, treating our employees well, giving back to the community, those are great ways to stay relevant. Sean, at the Maine Brewers Guild, how are you guys working to support these brand new breweries who are opening up or some of the breweries who are struggling? Yeah, you know, a lot of our breweries are now kind of three to five years into their plan. And what was once kind of, you know, two people in a dream of brewing beer for a living has now become a day job. And so what we're trying to do is help them get through this next phase of growth, help them last for 25 years and beyond that. So a lot of that's talking to them about their business fundamentals. We're always focused on quality beer. We've got a lab partnership with the university. But what we're trying to do is focus on how are you treating your employees? What's your environmental impact? And you know how are you running a strong business so that you can sustain yourself in the long term? Uh, let's end on this note real quick. Look into the crystal ball. What's the main beer industry going to look like five to ten years from now? Is it going to be as big as it is, or are we due for a shakedown? I think we'll have 200 breweries in Maine in five years, um, and I think we'll see many more people drinking craft beer. They're just attracted to great places to hang out. We know you're a lousy forecaster. You thought you'd have five <laughs> yeah. or six employees yeah. at this point. You got 140. What do you see in the future? I, I think it's going to stay strong. I mean, beer, it, it, the beer industry in the U.S. Is, is very special. I mean, beer, like a lot of things in our lives, textiles, um, light manufacturing, uh, sh you know, making shoes. Um, all of that got stripped out of our communities and commoditized after World War II, but beer is one of the few things that's been re-delivered to communities, and it means more jobs, gathering places, innovation. Uh, it, there's just so much excitement around it, and there are plenty of people out there who still haven't discovered the movement, so I think we're going to continue to see growth. It's a great time to be a beer drinker. I don't think anyone would argue with that. No, and I, I mean, they do have a point that alcohol seems to be the thing that even in a yeah. bad economy, people go for. People, people drink it in good times, they drink it in bad times.